Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. We're on episode number, who knows, of Quantum Leap. It's kind of hard to keep track of because we keep jumping around. Look, an army. Kill it. Ooh, little guys. Get them. Get having the organizer trait makes it so much easier to chase people down. Instead of having to chase them over like three provinces, you can just usually catch them within one. And look at that! See, that's why you want to lead troops. Because we led troops, we actually got to capture a prisoner. Which means that we gain 106 gold. Sweet. And that war is over. We disband our troops and we're done. Okay. So, our liege kind of likes us a little bit. That's actually my opinion of him. Okay, never mind. He doesn't like us very much. So... What to do? Realm tree. Shabad. Strongest guy in the realm is my son-in-law, Abu Bakr. And he loves the current guy. I'm sorry, that's his opinion of me. Opinion of liege. Okay, so he loves me. Liege, not quite as much. We should try to get him to join the faction. So let's send our spymaster to scheme there. Let's also get our betrothal done. Still trying to kill this guy. I have to bribe a whole bunch of women to make it happen. And this guy that we're trying to kill has 352 gold, so it's worth spending 100 or two. The other thing we can do is uh, looking at our alliances. So, like this guy has 100 opinion. This guy has just 31. Be a good idea to improve relations with him. Emir Usama. Not Osama, Usama. Still no mission. No good things are good. What about technology? Can we please get legalism? Oh god, look at that. We're only a couple months away. Thank goodness. That'll give us increased domain size for kings and emperors. Damn it! Alright, well we have another son. So now, as complicated as it is, now we need to get allied with all the other dukes that we're not currently allied with. So like this duke. He's only five. Okay, never mind. Okay, how about this duke? Do you have any daughters? Jeez, he doesn't. Got a one-year-old. Any sisters? Wow. Alright, so he's a guy that we would need to offer up one of our daughters to. I've got a seven-year-old online. But okay, how about this this fella? He does not look like a Muslim. He's a, apparently a white Turkish man. Um, you have a 14-year-old daughter. Let's betroth her to my 16-year-old son. Okay, so that covers that. You, sir. You don't have any daughters. There's another guy that we need to actually get married into. Okay, how about you? Daughters? Five-year-old. Sisters? You do have a sister. She's currently married. We can fix that. Let's set her a special interest, and then that way I don't have to... We cancel the plot to kill our guy for a second. And see if we can kill this husband. Darn. Alright, that's unfortunate. Well, let's just give up on her. Do you have any other siblings? It's going to be that daughter, jeez. That was the five-year-old. He's independent somehow. That seems to be about it. So 
far as what we can do. I mean, we can get a, a betrothal here. Oh, shoot. You can only have one active betrothal. Damn. Oh, well. Alright, so... My daughter was executed. Interesting. Why? We're no longer allies. Why did you execute my daughter? My opinion of you is... Probably not very good. It's kind of annoying. Why doesn't it show my opinion of him? You have to go to here to do it. I guess it doesn't even matter. You just execute... Okay, so anyway. I have discovered a promising candidate that could be potentially strong-armed into joining factions that you support. How do you wish to proceed? Uh, Amir Amubakar, who is the guy that just murdered my wife. Um, he did like me. Threaten him. Join the damn faction. You kill my wife? You kill my daughter? You join the faction. That's how it works. Do it. Join. Join! I obviously stand together with you and your confederates. Join my damn faction. You didn't join it. You lying bastard. Oh, there he is. Good. 41.8% strength of the liege. Okay, so now we move our spy master to another location. Even maybe pick up just a different spy master to make it a little quicker. We want to do stuff that's du jour within Egypt because they're the ones that actually can join that faction. So this guy, he is an ally. Let's uh, let's go try to get him to join. Uh, oil up the racks, or do we want? Yeah, let's 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 torture my brother, my idiot half brother. Take the legalism. Still doesn't improve our domain limit problem because of uh, we would need to be a king for that. Oh, he died in, in the dungeons. Apparently I tortured him to death. It's kind of sad. Not really. I feel pretty justified in torturing him. Sure, let's give to charity. You little dumb woman, you said that you'd do it, but you didn't. Can we attack somebody? Can we do something? It, like, says that we can, but because of Crown Law, we just can't. Ah! We just need to get one more guy to come join us. He loves me. So, yeah, we're gonna have to be patient. If we can get this other person to join, I think we'll have enough power to do it. That, or I could be really patient and just wait for the Caliph to die. That's the other situation that's gonna cause it to pretty much be guaranteed to happen. My daughter has, um, let's just beat her. <laughs> just for fun. What? I can't even imagine saying that in real life context. It seems ridiculous. Who are you? Why are you in my prison? Get out of here. Uh, I've gained the trait temperate. The fast you have observed during Ramadan has taught you the value of moderation in all things and the dangers of indulgence and excess. You feel closer to Allah. Sweet. That's a good trait to have. Distribute alms to the poor. Sounds good. Send out the invitations. We have two, three, four, five, four. Some people refusing to attend. I'm not going to give my wife, wives anything. So that's good. Temperate's good. Um, peddlers selling all sorts of food, clothing, exotic spices, and luxuries, such as glass and jewels, filled the town square with their wares and their shouts. Fairs are fun for all. I could become kind or stressed. Let's risk it. What do you think? Should we risk it? 50-50? Kind? Kind is a good trait. You get some diplomacy. It would also lower our intrigue, giving us the ability to do another ambition. Stressed, on the other hand. Let's try it. Damn it! <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, well, at least we get to take the ambition to improve intrigue. That makes me feel better. Damn, damn. Damn it. <laughs> I'll just keep building stuff. That'll make me feel better. 
That's what you spend money on, right? Fairs and things. I have a proud son that needs an educator. We still have, like, very few military men. I guess we'll have my wife train him just to maybe, maybe get some military people in the family. So that we can use them at some point. The faction's still at 38% strength. We're just kind of hoping that our spy master can actually convince somebody to join. My first wife was a better spy master. But you actually have lower overall state attributes if you push your first wife as your spy master, so. Hmm. There we go. Being around Adila makes me feel calm and satisfied. The contentedness of her is contagious, and all the world's trouble seems less frightening. So this is because she's content. Um, she just makes it go away. Which is good, because now we've just improved our intrigue. And nothing to do again. 39%. Liege, would you please die? Oh, he's got pneumonia. Consumption. 69 with consumption. <laughs> so that's the uh, failed to improve relations event from the other side. How's England doing? Queen Ode the Just, still in power, still married to King Welf. That's her second husband. Her son, King Ynir, still alive. Many people were predicting in the comments that uh, because she matrilineally married her second husband and then made, made a baby with him. Uh, and actually, she is... Okay, so England must be on High Crown Law. Heir to the Kingdom of England. Or no, maybe it's under elective? And Gavilkine. Okay. It's on Gavilkine succession and medium crown. Ah, there we go. So because Kingdom of England is on absolute crown authority, titles cannot leave the realm through inheritance. Therefore, even though her firstborn son, King Ynir, is firstborn, he is outside of the realm. Therefore, it defaults to the first. You know, the character that's in the realm. Which is apparently him. So, interesting. Well, that's too bad. It doesn't really affect us anymore. New King of France yet? Nope. Still King Heli. King Inyer. Still married to this woman with the Princess Leia hairstyle. Weird. We could just stockpile a ton of money. And then maybe use mercenaries to, to do it anyway. Alright, so that was my second born son picking up his first wife. Now that he's no longer betrothed, we should probably analyze the relationships that are available again. Like we can betroth them to... This was the man that was difficult to kill. Uh, maybe we can get an alliance here again. Nope, your daughters are married off. You have a sister that's married off. Sister that's married off. Ah, there we go. There's one that's not married. Huh? Oh, is she old? Yeah, she's too old. That's unfortunate. That's right. We've already looked at her before, haven't we? Okay, well, why don't we try to murder this guy? We'll set you special interest and hopefully remember. We want that woman, so let's try to kill this man. 46%. Okay, what about... What about your second born? My father-in-law. That would be my wife, my first... One of my wife's father. 90% chance to kill him. Let's do it. That's the one. 90% is much better. But we have no support. Damn. It's difficult to plot against these darn Muslims. They all have so much piety. Everyone likes it. They just all like each other. It's annoying. Christians are much more easy to manipulate, it seems. 
Okay, well, we can't do anything with her. Is there not a way to get an alliance here, man? 12-year-old son and my 8-year-old daughter. That sounds fine. Here. I want to arrange a betrothal between your son, your heir, and my 8-year-old daughter. So in a while, we'll get him as an ally. But then we have to go back over here to, like, this fella. Or there was another one, wasn't there? This guy. Do you have a daughter? Three-year-old. All men. Lots and lots of men. All right, well... Maybe we could just go with my son, sorry, my second son, arrange marriage and just see, you know, pick up some alliances this way here. Marry the princess of Syria. And marry the princess of Andalusia. Sure, why not? Just marry some people. Make, make babies. It'll cause decadence, but it'll be good. The bigger the dynasty gets, the harder decadence is to manage, but the more alliances and stuff you can manipulate. My liege, rumors have reached us of a mighty new leader on the rise among the Orguz tribes of Turkestan. Okay, so we're looking at the Seljuk invasion happening so soon. Does anyone want to support my fabricate a claim plot? Maybe. Got one person, two people, three. Oh, there's quite a few. We would need to get up to 75% plot power. Let's give it a shot real quick and just see what happens. May yeah, Allah have mercy on us. The Seljuk have already arrived. I'm not sure where they are. We'll find them later. I'm sure it'll be relevant in a bit. 90% plot power. Look at that. Wow. Oh, sweet! Put us above 100%. Damn, it would just drop below again. Somebody left or died or something. 90%? Come on, man. Looking for somebody that is close enough that we can flip just to get that last little bit. Damn. Alright, well, whatever. We're going to fire it with this. We have managed to fabricate a claim. Excellent. Yes, we have a strong claim now on the Sultanate of Arabia, which is this kingdom. So now we can create factions to put us in charge of it. Amir Hamoud for Arabia. Cool. All right, sweet. I'm going to take a break here in the next video. Hopefully we'll become a king. Thanks for watching. See you soon.